Mm -hmm. uh, the access checks? Yeah. We may provide you with access checks if we do. Mm -hmm. We will tell you at the time if we consider them purchases. Oh. Uh, cash advances or special transfers. Oh. If we consider them purchases, cash advances, or special transfers, <laughs> only the person we designate may use access checks. <laughs> you may not use them to pay any amount you owe us or any other company in the Capital One organization. <laughs> we may reject and not pay any access check if <laughs> your account is past due. Oh, charged off, bankrupt, lost, stolen, or closed. Oh. We suspect fraud. Oh, some fraud. <laughs> now your account is over the credit limit. Oh, or the check has expired, is damaged, or cannot otherwise be processed. Yes. <laughs> now, um, I kind of like the idea of using an access check. Yes. <laughs> now let's look at the actual finances of the United Nations. <laughs> Of all the employees that have been employed in the United Nations since they started, yes, uh, they must have had some sort of bank account to pay for everything that they've been doing. Yeah. Could you get me those bank accounts? <laughs> now, I know you're an employee of the United Nations and you have certain obligations as employees that if you have fraud, yes, or you know of fraud, mm -hmm, corruption, yes, international child abduction, pooch. Violating of conventions, yes, that you were obligated that um, you would enforce right now, but you didn't. <laughs> now, let's say we changed it so that you no longer exist. We need to put another infrastructure in place, and <laughs> I think the Global League of Serious Societies, yes. Now, let's say you're a nation. <laughs> you're one of these that says, well, we have uh, some sort of diplomacy that involves the United Nations, yeah. sanctions, oh. I thought we could completely remove the infrastructure of the United Nations. Yes. And we could look at every account of every person <clears throat> that has any authority to spend the money of the United Nations. Yes. Then we close all those accounts. Yes. <laughs> and we'd open a new international organization of societies instead of nations. Ah. Now I know. Usually the 170 societies, no, the nations, right. <laughs> England, oh, it's Queen Mum. <laughs> Let's say instead of nations, we make it societies so that we can all agree. <clears throat> now, I think we could open it up to maybe five to 10,000 societies throughout the world. Yes, where we'd all get together each year and look at the very, <laughs> well, I know it's effective. Yes, see, you can't make a fucking decision right now because... <laughs>